Welcome back to my channel. So today I did a review on Eunice's wig this time. This is their reddish brown wig that they sent me and I'm obsessed with the color. I ended up curling it and the way it curled is so nice. So for the basics, this is a Swiss lace wig. It's 13 by 4 and it's 24 inches, okay? I have no complaints. The only thing is, is that when I bleached the knots, they didn't bleach blonde, which is kind of obvious. They kind of just lightened up and bleached like a lighter red. First, I want to show you guys how I got the wig. They hooked me up so they package the wig obviously in a silk bag like always it says unit they gave me a unis robe so cute i wanted to wear it throughout the video but it was just too bright and the lighting was going all over the place but it's satin it's pink it says unis on it they also gave me a matching bonnet which is also in a really pretty pink color and it says unis as well i don't know if this will really fit much okay and then they gave me a little goodie bag which is actually not little at all i have two um what is this called wig laying bands little elastic bands that you use to lay your wig it says eunice on it so i got two of those they gave me some lashes two wig caps a headband another bonnet a black bonnet this time and a makeup brush but my camera's about to die keep watching if you guys want to see the rest of this install how i curled it how i laid it and how i did my edges as well so Shout out to Eunice, thank you guys so much, and make sure to keep on watching. Guys, how cute is this bonnet and robe combo? They really snap with their branding, okay? But let me just put the wig on real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna change my top because the lighting is gonna be really on and off with this bright pink robe, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the black is much better. I'm so excited, it's so pretty. Um, I'm not gonna do too much talking, we're just gonna get right into installing the wig. As you can see, I already put the wig cap on. I'm just gonna use Got To Be Gel to gel down the lifting parts of the wig cap. You could bet that never got us with that. You could bet that never got us with that. Okay, so that's done. I'm just gonna try and see where I wanna place the wig real quick. This color is so pretty. I already pre pucked and bleached the knots, obviously. Um, so it should be really easy to place on because I already traced out my hairline and everything. Yeah, honestly, it looks perfect. So I already marked out where I want the wig to lay. So I'm just going to clip my hair back and then cut off the little ear spots or ear tags. I don't know what to call it. Okay. So that's that. So I'm going to use Ghost Bond. I'm just going to put one to two layers on. I'm going to do all in one go as well because I've already marked out where I want the lace to be. So it should be pretty easy um, for the rest of this install. So I'm just going to get right into it. Good. I'm going to reclip the hair up so that I can tie the waist down. I'm gonna blow dry this. Let's hope I didn't over pluck. Oh my god, I didn't over pluck. Yay! Awesome. So thankfully I didn't over pluck the wig. So I'm gonna do middle part so i'm gonna fast forward this part starting now you'll see me part my hair and start hot combing it okay guys so i am seeing some shedding i'm not sure if this is from the bundles from the lace and i'm not sure if it's because i plucked the hair and so now the parts that are plucking are coming out or not but i guess we'll see hmm. Guys, 
guys, this is so cute. I straightened the top half of this side. The ends are like kind of not the best because I'm gonna curl it eventually, but look at that. It straightened out so nicely. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take this band off. All right guys, I'm going to cut off the lace now. I'm gonna cut a line down the middle and then use a razor to shave down the sides. Okay, so next up I'm just gonna um, section off my baby hairs. I don't like too big of baby hairs, so that's all I'm gonna section out for them. I'm gonna take my Evan spray and just put some a little bit on the lace. Okay, so that's been tied off. I'm gonna be back in five minutes to finish off my edges. Okay guys, I'm back. The lace looks really good. Definitely bended in pretty well. I'm going to do my edges now, which is always the hardest part for me. So, fingers crossed I can get this done. This definitely would be easier if I had one of those mini straighteners, but I don't have that, so. I've ever done my edges, so I'm really proud of myself. This is not even for edges, it's literally to tie my robe, but it's okay. Love it. Everything turned out so nice. The Swiss lace is really giving. I do want to cut some layers into this wig just a bit before I curl it. Nothing crazy, but I just don't want it all to be one length. So I'm just gonna section off the hair because I'm really only cutting the front part of the hair when I do layers. You can probably tell the difference, but the side's a little um, lighter, um, flowing a little bit more, and so when I curl it and I bring it forward, it's gonna fall really pretty. But if I were to do that now, it would just drop. So. Okay guys, so my part's fixed. I cut some layers. I wanna show you guys how it falls now. Let's see this side. How it falls. This side falls pretty well. Okay, guys, so I just finished curling the hair. Super pretty and bouncy. There's some straight pieces that I will recurl. A tip if you're working with like body wave or straight hair, cover your hands in baby powder or else you're gonna make your hair greasy over time from the oils in your palms. Do you see this? Look at this. You see that little swoop? That's why I cut the hair. Because that swoop is what gives. I know y'all see that. Wow, so pretty. I'm so excited, you guys. I want this to cool down. Let's comb this side out. I'll show you guys this side too. The way it's falling. Maybe one day I'll do like an actual curl routine. I'm obsessed. That's it for the install, but I'm actually obsessed. I love the color. The color is beautiful. It's darker in person, I will say that, but it still is very much giving red. I'm so obsessed. Shout out to Eunice. The link to this wig is going to be obviously in the description box below. If you guys want to see more wigs or any more styles, make sure to comment that down below as well. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!